Won't be able to back. pick this. Oh, bitch. Looking for the shooter there now. Can be. Amazing. Everything okay, boy? I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit, and I'll gut you myself. Now shut your mouth. Think oh. you can hide? I oh. there was a whole lot less of that. Suits me fine. Pretty beat up. You should wash your hands after that. It can be unsanitary to handle the deceased. I'll be fine. If you feel Thanks. you need to, then go ahead. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe... Minutemen? Nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but... God damn it. Things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. changed so much none of this makes sense you all right listen we need your help and then maybe we can help you huh what brought you out here my son sean's been kidnapped he's not even a year old that's messed up 
I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> no. Nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up uh, and live for a long nah, time. That ain't it. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. God damn it. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway. We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a... rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thanks for your help. What is it? Excellent. Be careful. If the shielding on the reactor core isn't perfect, it can be hazardous to your health. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Before I get my power on. Up here. But we got somebody up here. Come on. Want some more? Want some more? I'm not sure. Ah, I 
That's bullshit. Take that. Get lost. You and me? We're going another damn round. Okay, let's get started. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. You're going now. Want some more? We'll all be better off without you around. Are you kidding me? I really don't care. Better now? The 
suits me fine. Pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Spoken like a true merc. Well, if you ever feel like fighting for something other than yourself, you should meet up with us in Sanctuary. I could use someone like you. Someone who can get things done. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Don't give me that destiny crap. I just saw you go toe to toe with a 20 foot tall irradiated lizard. You telling me you can't keep an open mind after that? It's all right, Preston. Not everyone understands the sight. But I don't need you to believe. I just need you to listen. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy Mama talked Murphy. about this. I'm sure Preston junk. can handle anything we find you. until we reach Sanctuary. Okay. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And hey, our new is friend it over? here? Not really. He's gonna no. need it too. Hey. Sounds now like you better get, get going. going to Diamond City. Sanctuary mm -hmm. awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. Can she I help you? She knows about Sanctuary. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. Can oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy. Mama Murphy. You got a better Sorry, idea of what we should Diamond do next? City is where you need to head. You're not my boss. Anybody? Well then, Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Mama Murphy. The help you need is in Diamond City, child. Good to know.
Hell yeah. Careful. If the shielding on the reactor core isn't perfect, it can be hazardous to your health. Looks uncomfortable in there. That's right. Oh my god! Are you alright? How are you doing? Better not be walking into another trap. city. Hmm? How are things going? Don't worry. I'll get these people to sanctuary. Good to know. Can I help you? You need to keep moving. Absolutely. Can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> June. Just stay with me. How's it going? Be fine. Hold on to that power armor now. Oh, okay. Hate to see it go to rust. Uh huh. found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to Sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. Telling you. Hey there. You finally have fun on so it's the bombs. Yes.
hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. What are you talking about? Hey. I wonder how silly. Excuse me. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. Absolutely. Excuse me. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? <laughs> this isn't a home. It's nothing but an empty ruin. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters, hell, maybe even electricity. You don't understand. I used to live here, before the war. What do you mean, before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was... Frozen or something, for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Maybe. I woke up at one point. Some people... Killed my wife and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual, raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get.
Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, uh, Piper. Hi there. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. What's that? You said you're a trader from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> Oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slander. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. That a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why? This is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you! Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. 
What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've comes I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Hey there. Saying that for weeks and the little girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Read all about it. Institute replaces people with machines. Are you next? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. Today's been great. Hmm, interesting, you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. The jumpsuit's a bit of a giveaway. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. No, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it?
I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? A man took Sean, not some shadowy group. I hope that's true. Because if they are involved, everything gets worse. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Big, loud, old corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. A home for you, maybe. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his fur and always open. hair. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Oh, Does anyone wow. fight back? You're tall. Institute what makes you think that? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick.
The pills. Huh. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Nikki's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry.